año tras año, en tiempos fáciles o difíciles, seguís eh, como centro recordando a un pionero, a una persona que da nombre a esta institución y que tanto hizo por sentar las bases de la ciencia española, como es el profesor Severo Ochoa. As you all may know, Dr. Ochoa chose this campus, our campus, to start an exciting project that was pioneer uh, in Spain and that led on to uh, back in 1975 to this Centro de Biología Molecular, the CBM, that is hosting us today. For many of us that began learning about the brain and about cells, we, we thought that the brain was, uh, in the adult brain, was a fixed organ with very little change. And the reasons behind that are that it's very complicated. And neurons are, are not only the big, with long processes, and the idea that they could undergo cell division uh, and replenish themselves seemed highly unlikely. But there are two facts that changed our view. One is that because the brain is the site where we remember our thoughts and uh, we have ideas of who we are, self-identity are, we think, embedded within the brain, if the brain was changing all the time, perhaps we would have no idea of who we are or the sense of ourselves would change with time. And the other problem, of course, is that complex cells with millions of connections, how could they divide and give rise to new neurons? Well, the solution came in two ways. One is that uh, the division that does occur uh, only occurs in one area of the brain, in the human brain. It occurs in a few areas in, in other species. So it's not occurring everywhere. Uh, and the other is that neurons are not dividing, uh, at least as far as we know currently, but rather there are the rather extraordinary discovery that there are stem cells or undifferentiated cells that are retained within the brain throughout the life of all mammalian species.